This is a Ford Focus Mark 1 and it's got an airbag fault and you can see the light flashing so it flashes, this one flashes four times then two times and it keeps repeating itself so here we go one, two, three, four, then there's a break then it's two times so should, that's the, the code is 42 I've also pulled the code in the scan tool which says the front crash sensor but if you've not got a scan tool 42 and I'll show you where the crash sensor resides That's it there, and it, it lies underneath it, I'll show you, put the new one, so it's just two bolts and it lies under the, the plastic covering, so this is the front crash sensor that we're going to replace to get rid of that fault code 42. This is the same code, this 42 as displayed in IDS, you can see it comes in as B2855, and if we go over to the description, B2855 front crash sensor circuit to positive or short, short circuit to ground. So that's on IDS. There's some of the, the data PIDs when using IDS. You can see the little top there, and that's like the driver rear bag, 14 ohms, and three and a half ohms, two ohms, 14 ohms, I'm sure they're the side air impact bags, two and a half, 2.5, 14, 2.6, 14, so you can see the range between 14 ohms to 2.6 what I was looking for and here's the next set of data PIDs software version that must be battery power supply I don't know what that figure there is and that must be the passenger's airbag 2.9 ohms so in order to replace anything on an airbag system you did disconnect the battery negative lead and you wait for 10 minutes this is the part number that you require. I got this from Ford. It was about, I think it was £65 plus the VAT. Yeah, that's me and Crawl installed the new crash sensor. So when you're putting it in, I should have showed you this, but I thought it turn on the video camera. You plug it in and you, this is the old one, but you manipulate it underneath the front and slide it along to your inline and you. You catch it with the bolts and it goes up like that. Cheers. So as I turn on the ignition, it'll then do a self-check of the ABS and it should clear the code itself. That's the light on. That's the light went off. And that's that. The crash sensor has fixed that fault code 4-2. Hope that helps someone out there. Cheers.